To continue with the expected deliverables in general mathematics, here's an introduction to the lesson about exponential functions. To further identify certain relationships which are exponential in nature, let us explore the following real-life scenario. A rabbit at maturity gives birth to two rabbits. If a rabbit gives birth to two rabbits, and two rabbits in turn gives birth to two rabbits each, how many rabbits will there be after four rabbits give birth? Let us figure out the following illustration. This example is exponential in nature, and is said to be an increasing function, or an exponential growth. What is the domain and the range of the exponential function for this case? Here we will notice that the domain of the function is the order of giving birth to the rabbits, and the range is two rabbits as the base of the exponential function raised to the domain x. So after the first birth, the range is 2 to the first power equals 2, after the second birth, the range is 2 to the second power equals 4, after the third birth, the range is 2 to the third power equals 8. What would be the range after the fourth birth? This exponential growth is denoted by the function f of x equals 2 to the x power. This can be further described if we construct the table of values of ordered pairs. Based on the table of values, the trend is increasing, which is a manifestation of an exponential growth. On the other way around, there is another real-life scenario which is likewise exponential in nature. This is known as exponential decay. Relational statements such as mass of a 200 gram sample of an element being reduced to 100 grams after 10 years is an example of a decreasing function or an exponential decay. The period where this occurs is called half-life. Initially, at t equals 0, the mass of sample is 200 grams. If t equals 10 years, the mass of sample is 100 grams. If t equals 20 years, the mass of sample is 50 grams, and if t equals 30 years, the mass of sample is 25 grams. Because the scenario is described as half-life, the base of the exponential function is one-half, and the exponent is x. Since the mass of the sample is initially 200 grams, then 200 is the coefficient of the base one-half, to the x power, where x is equal to the time divided by 10. This is due to the decay of half of the sample which occur after every 10 years. This exponential decay is denoted by the function f of x equals 200 times 1 half to the x power. Again, this can be further illustrated if we construct the table of values of ordered pairs. Based on the table of values, the trend is decreasing, which is a manifestation of an exponential decay. After getting acquainted to the concept of exponential function using the real-life scenarios, let us have the following definitions. Exponential growth is a pattern of data that shows greater increase with passing time, creating the curve of an exponential function. Exponential decay describes the process of reducing an amount by a consistent percentage rate over a period of time. An exponential function with base a, is the function of the form f of x equals a to the x, or y equals a to the x, where a is greater than 0, and a is not equal to 1. Try this. Tell whether the following statements describes an exponential growth or decay.
Thank you. Please always be guided by wisdom to develop critical thinking skills.